I guess you could say I learned the industry from the bottom up. It's a lot of work. I book everybody. I make sure the lineup is done. I collect all the music. I put everything in order. I deal with a DJ. I come back, make sure everybody's ready on time. I still have to be the first person out to MC when I still have everything else to do. So then we have the break and I have to do it all over again for the midnight show. I'm myself. Everybody who works here, everybody in the show, thank you, thank you, gracias. We appreciate your time and your attention. Please show some yourself some love, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you notice, my shows always start with Wonder Woman, the theme song. And it's not just because she's Wonder Woman, but because growing up I didn't have any friends. I'm from Brownsville, Texas. The mentality there is very, if you're not macho, then you're not a guy kind of a thing. And I was always very feminine, even when I tried to be a quote-unquote guy going, up, going to school. And I really didn't have any friends. I was more like an outcast. And the only thing I had to look forward to every day was Wonder Woman. And I always said that if I was going to be a woman, I wanted to be somewhat like Wonder Woman. Somebody who's beautiful, who's strong, who stands for right things, who fights for the right things, who does for others, deals with adversity, and I guess you could say I deal with all that. I do a lot for my community. So uh, a friend of mine who was in theater said, you need a name that's easy to remember. At that time, Calvin Klein was my favorite designer because he was like the designer of that era. So I decided to be Kelly Klein. I just didn't want to spell it like him, so I'd be original. So I spelled it K-L-I-N-E, and that's how Kelly Klein was born. Kelly was just, it's just a androgynous name. It could be boy or girl. So I was like, you know what? This is cool. Because that people ask me, well, what are you, a guy or a girl? And I'm like, I'm just me. Well, I always tell people, so you look at me as a human, not as a guy or a girl. I mean, obviously I've had all, uh, stuff altered in my body, but I'm still a human. I hate labels though. I think about it. people are like, they meet me, they're like, so are you a guy or a girl? What do you see in front of you? And my biggest pet peeve is when people try to find out what my old name used to be. I really try to push up all the entertainers and make them bigger than life and make sure the crowd respects them and they respect the crowd in turn. My role as a quote unquote drag mother is for people to succeed, whether it's in the industry of entertaining or going to school and graduating and doing something with their life. They all do start as entertainers though. There's a lot more to life than just entertaining.